It's Saturday night, dice football. That's why I plonk myself next to the fridge and I promise I'll serve myself responsibly. Carlton and St Kilda players are making their way onto the ground now. So good to have Eddie Betts back at Carlton. That's where his dice footy career began. Both teams coming out of a rebuild phase. So this will be defining to see where the clubs are at. Of course, it's the Blues versus the Saints for Telstra, Australia's best mobile network. Great part about Dice Footy is the unprecedented access we get to players. Let's see if we can get uh, Eddie Betts up just before the match begins. Uh, Eddie, are you there? There, Andy. How are you? Yeah, really well. Thanks very much for taking the time. I know it's a big match today. Um, I imagine you'd be throwing the dice from behind a couch, having it bounce off five or six walls and then <laughs> lands on the table. I hope so. I hope so. Get it to bounce in and hope it'll land on a high score. Yes, uh, obviously you've got kids. Um, have, how do you kind of block out that outside noise considering you have to play the game in your own house? I guess you've got to take a deep breath. You know, it's like, like you're 90,000 at the MCG or 50 yep. at Adelaide Oval and take a deep breath. Picture there's no one there. Make, yep. make it silent. Then, then just roll and hopefully it goes in. I'm sure it will, mate. Thanks very much for your time. Across to Seb Ross now, of course, the same. Seb, how's preparation been? Uh, pretty good, Andy. I think um, I've, I'm pretty happy. I'm just the, the, the jumper still fits this morning after six weeks. <laughs> so, um, I'm ready to go. Right. What was the message from Coach uh, Brett Ratton, of course, as he plays up uh, plays against his old club? Uh, just uh, <laughs> actually, he hasn't been in touch yet, so I'm a little bit shattered about that, but. Um, I'd imagine this is right up his alley. He's a fun-loving guy and uh, um, he's that type of character. So Sounds like uh, you're sucking up to the coach. Uh, anyway, there's, there's the uh, warning siren. Let's get the captains together for the toss of the coin. And joining us, the toss of the coin is Josh. Thanks very much. Josh, you got the coin? Yeah. We'll allow Seb to call. Uh, you flick it up in the air. Go for it, Josh. Yeah. Tails. Tails. Uh, Josh. Tails. Tails, it is the Saints. Will you take possession of the dice first, Seb, or will you send Carlton in? Uh, I'll send Carlton in. Um, oh, Josh has suggested Carlton as well. Josh, thank you very much. We'll ask you off. Terrific toss of the coin as both teams get ready for what will be a cracker of a game. Both teams seem ready now. This is the electricity that Saturday Night Football is all about. Any bets? Always exciting when he's got the ball in his hands. Take it away, Ed. Hey, right, tight angle. Tight angle. Let's do this. Oh, a one five. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not the best start for the Blues. Rusty. Inaccurate kicking. Inaccurate. Let's, see. Let's see how the Saints go as they take possession of the dice. Three two, Ooh. it's a nice solid roll. Three two twenty, plays what? one five eleven, and inaccurate kicking. And Carlton remains slow starters. Eddie, that's been something for a while, hey? Yes, we start off slow, then uh, we come back in the second half. Okay. So, I, remember, I remember a game against St Kilda. It was the last game of the season when I was playing, and I keep one goal five. All right. <laughs> <laughs> History right. repeats. <laughs> We have a look at the quarter time scores. Nine points, the deficit. It's in the Saints' favour as we head into the second quarter where Seb gets a chance to roll first. Mm. Off you go, Seb. He's rolled a 6 4. Am I right in saying that? Sure. Yeah. Oh, 6 4. 6 4. That's a <laughs> He's come out blazing. Jeez. <laughs> but footy is a game of momentum. Let's see how you go there, Eddie Bits. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Kick straight, Ed. Kick straight. Three, three, three. Gee, and the Blues have got some work to do. As Eddie mentioned, they can be slow starters. Four, eight, thirty-two plays nine, six, sixty. A twenty-eight point advantage to the Saints as we head into halftime. Let's have a look at the Telstra tracker and the heat map at Seb's house. Uh, a lot of time spent near the fridge for the St Kilda champ, which is not surprising. And some significant couch time. Uh, probably binge watching the Tiger King, no doubt. 
Yes, you can see the scores there. 4832 plays 9660. Straight kicking Saints. Uh, chance to chat to Eddie Betts just before we head back out for the second half. As far as preseason goes, everybody obviously interrupted preseason. Do you have the stamina to get it through the uh, four quarters? You are aging. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think we'll be okay. Um, okay. Had some hydro lights to stand, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic. Uh, well, it is Eddie to kick us off for the second half. There's a siren, and uh, his aging arms seem to be just as youthful as they were back in the day. Off you go, Eddie Betts. All right, here we go. 3 3, consistent rolling. I would say, of course, that is the definition of average. 3-3, three, three, <laughs> right in the middle. Can the Saints increase their lead? Hit, him, hit, one. hit a, hit a one-pointer. <laughs> four, 4-4. Four. I don't think I can come back from this. I don't think you can. <laughs> and that is 7-11-53, plays 13-10-88 as we head into the three-quarter time. This is a worry for the Blues, but it is a long season. It's a tight season. These are the two type of teams that will be fighting for the eight. Percentage will mean everything as we head back out. And the Saints try to extend their lead, Seb, with the roll. Yeah. Okay. one. Give me a chance. On the road here, I reckon. Whoa. What is it, 4-1? 3-1. 3-1. Okay. Obviously, the shadows coming over the box at the moment. Uh, we think we might have a light out uh, yeah. at the MCG. 3-1. Uh, 107 plays, 53. It is out of reach, but the percentage means everything. Eddie, for the fast-finishing Blues. The last quarter, we're sort of about respect. Uh, just keep, keep pushing. Uh, <laughs> can't give up. Don't want to uh, blow it out. Here we go. Five, a 5G and four. It's a respectable last roll. It's in true Carlton style. <laughs> we, <laughs> we let them get away and then we kind of try and pin them back. But an honourable loss of about 20 points. That seems about right. We don't, <laughs> we don't, we don't like these honourable losses, Andy. <laughs> I know. No more honourable losses. No, no room for honourable losses. We need to get out there and win. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Obviously disappointed. Sam, the Saints tune is echoing around the park in people's homes right now. How do you think you played as a group? Obviously very consistent across all four points. Yeah, I think so, Andy. I think what's been an issue for us in the past is, is those fast starts. So today we got the jump on on the Carlton boys, which was, which was good, and we we're able to continue with that momentum throughout the full full four quarters. So uh, really happy. Well, mate, it's obviously a uh, I think it's a six day turnaround for you guys, so you can enjoy tonight. Uh, <laughs> 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 as we see. Yes, you can be properly so obviously go dip your fingers in some ice. And uh, uh, thanks very much, Ed. Saints fans around the country, you can see celebrating the win. If you guys want to get involved, go to afl.com.au forward slash dice. What are your chance to toss the coin or be a part of the celebrations? A win for the Saints, 16-11, 107, 12-15, 87. We'll see you next round.